where to file ISF for cosmetic puffs. Have you ever wondered where to file importer security filing ISF for cosmetic puffs? Well, today we're diving into a fluffy world that's not just about beauty, but also about keeping your imports safe and compliant. Welcome to the channel, where we decode the complexities of customs brokerage one fun fact at a time. Before we get to the nitty-gritty of filing ISF for those delightful cosmetic puffs, let's first unravel what an ISF actually is. The ISF, or Importer Security Filing, also known as the 10 plus 2 rule, is a crucial requirement by U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP. Essentially, it's a document that delivers vital shipment data before your goods even touch American soil. So, why should we care about ISF? Picture this. Your tutu-perfumed cotton candy puffs are sailing across the ocean, and CBP sits at the port, ready to make sure everything coming in is legit. The ISF helps them do their job, keeping harmful and illegal products out while protecting the good OL American market. It's like a bouncer for your imports. Now, let's talk specifics filing ISF for those fluffy cosmetic puffs. Yes, you'll need to file an ISF before your cargo arrives at US shores. For cosmetic items, you typically need to provide details like supplier, manufacturer, and the ultimate consignee. Don't forget those key elements, otherwise, your puffs could get a one-way ticket back to the sender. Now that you know what an ISF is and why it's essential, where do you file this document? Great question. You can file directly through the CBP's automated broker interface, ABI, or contract a customs broker to handle the tedium. A customs broker is like your friendly neighborhood superhero, swooping in to outrun confusion and ensure your imports are smooth sailing. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty. When you file your ISF for those cosmetic puffs, you need to provide 10 critical data points such as 1. Importer of record 2. Consignee name and address. 3. Manufacturer or supplier details 4. Country of origin. 5. Cargo description 6. Quantity of each commodity. 7. Pickup address 8. Port of unloading. 9. Booking party and 10. Vessel name. Miss any of these details, and it could lead to delays or even penalties. Yikes. Remember, timing is crucial when it comes to ISF. You must file at least 24 hours before your cargo is loaded onto the ship. That's right, if you're late, it spells trouble. You won't only be stressing over your shipment but also dealing with potential holds and fines. Keep that calendar handy. While we're in this whirlwind of regulations, let's sprinkle in a word about customs bonds. What's a customs bond, you ask? It's your assurance to the government that you'll comply with US import regulations. Think of it as your entry ticket to the import party. Proper customs bonds keep your goods moving while ensuring compliance. So don't skip this step. In case you're still wondering if ISF is worth all the fuss, let's discuss the potential repercussions of non-compliance. Missing deadlines or incorrect filings could lead to your goods being held at the port, hefty fines, or even re-exportation. Nobody wants to be that importer who has their entire shipment sent back, that's just embarrassing. Alright, let's tackle some frequently asked questions. 1. Can I file my ISF myself? Absolutely. But keep in mind the nitty-gritty details required for a successful filing. 2. What if I need to change my ISF after filing? You can make changes prior to loading, but rushing against time is not advisable. 3. What happens if I file late? Well, let's just say your shipment might enjoy an extended stay at the port, and no one wants that. If you're still scratching your head over filing an ISF for cosmetic puffs, there are numerous resources available. The CBP's website is a goldmine of important regulations and guidelines. And, of course, consulting with a reliable customs broker can clear any lingering clouds of confusion. So, in a nutshell, filing ISF is an essential task for anyone dealing with imports like our delightful cosmetic puffs. With the right knowledge and thorough preparation, you can navigate the customs waters without a hitch. If you found this information useful, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Thank you for tuning in, and remember, we'll be back soon with more tips and tricks for navigating the world of customs brokerage and international trade. 
Disclaimer note below. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our upcoming videos. Keep importing smartly.